Hi everyone, so I'm going to do a video um, that is an overview of all of our Glass Cosmetics complexion products. Um, I had gotten requests to do a foundation overview, but I feel like their, um, their range really expands far beyond that as far as the quality and, and the technology that they use and, and that sort of thing. So I wanted to just address only their complexion products. And I'm basing what I mention on what is available on their website because while there are some things that are not currently in stores and that are, um, from what I've heard, being phased out, I still wanted to mention them while you can get them on Hourglass's website. Now, just as a side note, I do work for Hourglass as a market trainer, but I hope that you guys know by now, if you are familiar with my channel, that I try to not let anything like that affect my opinion. Yeah, but I just, just as a side note, so some of these products I did not pay for, and, uh, but some of these I did, so, um, and I gladly would, even if I didn't get them for free, so, yeah, take that for what you will. So in this video, I'm going to do an overview. So I'm going to try to avoid voicing my opinion too much, just so you can sort of get factual information. Uh, I did one of these before with uh, Chanel Foundation, so if you haven't seen that, I'll link that below. Um, but I'm going to try to stay completely objective. Something you should know about Hourglass's products is that while their entire range is not paraben-free or gluten-free or vegan, a good majority of the products are. So if you purchase a product or you go into the store, the box will say what the product is free of. And so I find that most of the products are paraben-free, not all of them, which they don't ever make that claim that they are all a, a paraben-free line because certain products just need parabens. Um, but Hourglass is very aware of, you know, if a product doesn't need a certain ingredient, then it's not going to be added in. So if it, if the formula will stay stable without parabens, then they won't add them. Um, I know for a fact that all of their products are free of solvent alcohols, which are the alcohols that dry your skin out. They're also free of uh, synthetic fragrance. And I'm going to include in this information below what all these products are free of um, based on their website and or the boxes that I have. But I, there are some things that I just have to mention my opinion on. So we'll begin with Hourglass's probably best known product, and that is the Veil Mineral Primer. Now I've been a fan of this for four or so years, going on maybe five, um, and it's really just kind of the only primer that I would really ever need. Um, it's designed to do quite a few things, which I think is what makes it such a big hit. It is designed to conceal the redness. There is zinc oxide in here, which is naturally anti-inflammatory. It's also that combined with titanium dioxide is what gives you your broad spectrum SPF 15 that's mineral based. So if you're sensitive to chemical sunscreens, you don't need to worry. There's none of those in here. Um, so it's going to calm the redness, uh, conceal a little bit of the redness, smooth texture, whether those be fine lines or pores. Um, it's going to make your makeup sweat and water resistant and it's going to give you a beautiful texture that then your foundation can go over top and will go on extremely smooth and will help the lasting power. So you know some primers are just designed to help smooth texture, some are just designed to increase lasting power but this does so much more than that. It comes in three different sizes. There's a small third of an ounce size that is 18. The classic one ounce is 52. And then they do also make a two ounce that's in a squeezy tube and it's 72. So technically that one's the best value for money. You're getting double the product, but for only $20 more rather than $52 more. So there is that. That is suitable for all skin types. As a side note, that one is oil free. Move on to their next primer, which is the number 28 Primer Serum. So the interesting thing about this is you can use it during the daytime as a primer, and it functions great as a primer. It gives a very, very smooth texture to the skin. And then at nighttime, you can turn around and use this as your serum. So the 28 stands for 14 essential oils. Each of them serves a really unique purpose. 10 of um, plant oils. The last four of the 28 are vitamins. So we've got A, B5, C, and E. And so you're going to get antioxidant protection, um, anti-redness properties, that sort of thing. So if you're a fan of oils or you like um, a very, very silicone-y, very thin silicone serum textured primer, this is definitely the one for you. Much better suited for normal to dry skin. This one comes in two sizes. There's a third of an ounce, which is going to be 22. Then the full ounce is 65. 
So what we recommend to people is maybe they have normal skin. You can use Veil during the daytime to help with your makeup and then you can use this at night as your serum and like as a skincare treatment product. Now we'll move on to foundations and the thing that separates Hourglass from really a lot of companies is that each of their foundations has clinical levels of treatment in them or some kind of treatment that makes it more than just a foundation. And um, they really, you know, Hourglass is really focused on getting the most wonderful complexion that they possibly can. So we'll start with the Veil Fluid Makeup which was the very first Hourglass product that came out. And the interesting thing about this is it has um, something called the Matrix Regeneration Complex, which is a combination of Matrixel. The, the ingredient has been shown to increase the production of three types of collagen and, and reduce the appearance of wrinkle severity. It also contains ingredients to firm and nourish the skin. It's actually a, a strain of peptides, if I'm not mistaken, that um, acts as, as a serum worked in with this foundation. So basically, you know, you have your skincare, then you have your foundation that gives extra skincare benefits in it. It is, um, gives pretty good coverage, I'd say medium to medium full, um, but it builds on itself really, really nicely, and it builds on itself without looking heavy at all. It comes in 11 shades. I have the shade 1.5 Nude, and this is actually what I'm wearing right now. It is a, like, a hair too dark for me, so I did bronze my neck a little bit because I'm extremely pale right now, but for spring and summer, this is the perfect, perfect color for me. I did about a half a pump. If you do one pump, it's going to give you pretty much medium full coverage, um, and then you can build on it really, really nicely without it ever looking heavy. I would describe this as a satin finish foundation. It's not super dewy, it's not super matte, it just sort of mimics the look of natural skin, and it's $60 for one fluid ounce. Next we will move on to the Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. It's also, it was formerly known as the Tinted Moisturizer. So this is the current packaging. You might see it in some Space and K stores like this, but they're the exact same thing. They just packaged it a little bit differently. And they did expa expand the shade range when they brought this one out. So this has something called the Hyaluronic Complex. A really beautiful luminous finish foundation that gives, um, depending on how much you use, it gives medium to buildable coverage. You can really get some coverage out of this. It is a pretty dense formula though, so you can use just a little bit and shear it out really nicely and have it just be like transparent and super dewy, or really build it up, get some nice coverage out of it, and it's still not going to look heavy. So the Hyaluronin Complex basically is just binding a ton of water to the skin, which means as you wear it and the Hyaluronic is being delivered to your skin, you'll notice a plumpness, a brightness, and a smoothness to the skin that is going to look naturally luminous combine that with the radiant foundation or the radiant finish of this foundation and you're just gonna have really healthy super dewy looking skin I have made a separate review video on this and uh, so if you want to watch that definitely check it out below this is a really great foundation if you have um, like I said normal to dry skin but I think if you really love a, a beautiful luminous finish foundation that does have a very beautiful pearlescent finish to it not in a glittery sense you know this close to a mirror with neon lighting on your face to see any bit of the pearl, but in regular lighting like this you wouldn't see it. Um, it also works really great as a concealer because it covers really nicely and then the hyaluronic is just going to plump that area out. So if you have any, you know, a little bit of fine lines, it's going to plump those out. Illusion is $55 for a one fluid ounce and that is both the tinted moisturizer and the hyaluronic skin tint. They're both $55 and you get a full ounce. Then we'll move on to Hourglass's probably best known foundation, and that is going to be the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. So it goes on as a liquid, blends into the skin, and then sets as a powder. The a complex in this is the Cashmere Kaolinite Clay, which is really cool. It absorbs 75% of its own weight in oil, but it doesn't absorb water. This foundation was designed to eliminate the need for touch-ups. It's designed with an oily um, and or acneic, problematic prone skin in mind. So you put this on, you're gonna get pretty much medium full coverage right away. It builds on itself, um, but you have to make sure that you work in sections because it is liquid to powder. So once it sets, um, it is, it's now a powder. So it's, it's a very interesting concept. It turns to a velvety powder. So it doesn't ever look flat. You still have some dimension to the skin, um, but it is a matte finish, that's for sure. So if you're someone who struggle with oil and and you know you've never found anything that works, this is definitely one worth giving a try. Because if you think about the benefits of 
clay on the skin where they're, you know, detoxifying, drawing out the impurities and just really reducing the oil content. Imagine that in a foundation that doesn't use alcohol to dry the skin, which will then overstimulate oil production and cause issues. Um, and it doesn't use um, really, really heavy talcs or anything like that to to dry the skin. It uses the cashmere kaolinite clay. So if you have oily or acne prone skin, people have actually noticed a, a, a decrease in pore size, a reduction of the frequency of acne, and just overall less oily skin from using this throughout the day that, you know, when they don't have any makeup on, their skin isn't as oily. So very, very interesting and um, definitely worth checking out. Now last on the foundation list and this is one that is um, I believe discontinued it's not in any stores that I know of except some space in K's and that is the oxygen mineral powder foundation compacts are of course wonderful they swivel you cannot dig the product or the the compact into the product um, this is the shade number three um, I believe this one is being discontinued it's only in four shades they still have it on Hourglass's website um, but with the introduction of Immaculate there's really no need for a powder foundation now because that is liquid to powder um, this is a fairly sheer powder foundation uh, it looks nice it's um, kind of got a very natural looking finish it's not super um, pearlescent it's not super matte um, but you're also not going to get too much coverage out of this oxygen is forty six dollars next we're going to move on to concealer and this is the hidden concealer i have the shade natural though in the summertime i'm somewhere between a sand and a tan um, it is a stick concealer that gives beautiful coverage without looking heavy and the texture is not as heavy as the coverage that it provides. So if you need a little blemish covering, if you need a little bit of under eye concealing, this one's certainly really, really nice. There's a ton of vitamin E in here, so it's going to be pretty conditioning for the skin. So because of that, you're going to prevent that dry creepiness that can occur from some stick concealers that have a ton of wax in them. This is a lot more conditioning, so it sits much nicer on the skin. Um, this was the one concealer that I used before I worked for Hourglass that didn't accentuate dryness from using benzoyl peroxide products. It actually kept that skin conditioned, so you couldn't actually tell that there was that much of a dry blemish in that area. So um, I've been a fan of this for quite a few years now, um, and uh, it gives really, really nice coverage. It doesn't look flat either. It, it looks very much like natural skin. It doesn't go on as, as matte and as uh, dry looking as some of the other stick concealers or even the liquid concealers. Hidden concealer is $32. Next we'll move on to the other really well-known hourglass products and those are ambient lighting powders. Now I have the full collection and I have to say I love each one of them for a different reason. The idea, be the idea behind this is it uses photoluminescent technology to kind of optimize and diffuse and kind of play with light, how the way the way light hits the skin. And the pigments are actually a little bit flatter than rather than being round. So they diffuse the light over the skin much much nicer than a, a traditional powder would. So it comes in six shades. Each of them is designed to mimic the look of a different kind of lighting. So um, for example, I always tell people and this is not I wasn't specifically trained this way, but I always tell people that these are not super pigment based. So they're more to give the effect. So each of them has a different kind of finish. So if you think about the kind of finish you want and the kind of light that this is designed to mimic, that's more of what you're going to want to go for. So if you want to look like you're always being basked in sunset, you can use radiant light, either as a bronzer alternative or lightly all over to look like the sunset is hitting you. You can use the um, ethereal light, which looks like moonlight and gives a very, very soft, um, very, very like poreless look on the skin and it goes on just very, very smooth looking. Um, you can use dim light to look like you're always being lit by very, very soft restaurant or bar lighting, you know, where the lights are very, very low and you look very, very soft. So um, I think they're great because they can be used with most skin tones, even if you're really fair or really deep skinned. It just depends on, you know, how much you use and where you place them but um, they're a good companion to any foundation. If your foundation is looking a little bit too matte, just add you know, mood or dim or even luminous just very lightly all over to amp up the skin with, and, and not make it look as flat. So um, each of them is wonderful. I love 
them all. It's, it's really hard for me to pick just one. Um, and they do come in a palette that features dim, incandescent, which is exclusive to that palette, and radiant. So you're kind of getting a full face, your setting powder, your highlight, and your warming bronzing powder all in one. And it's more cost effective to go that way. Um, but if I had to pick just one that I couldn't be without, it would probably be dim because it just gives a very, very soft, completely diffused look. Um, and ambient powders are free of talc, which is great so it's not going to accentuate texture or cause any heaviness on the skin. Ambient powders are $45. Next we'll move on to ambient blushes. So imagine the idea of a very dimensional looking face swollen with a blush, and that's exactly what ambient blush is. It comes in again six shades. Um, well technically seven, but we won't go into that. Um, I have this one here called Ethereal Glow. I don't wear a lot of blush, so I don't have any of these, um, but if I as a side note, I had to pick my favorites. It's um, the Mood Exposure and Diffused Heat because I think those look really, really nice on this skin. Um, the idea of this is that they swirl the ambient powder in the blush, so the blush never looks flat. The blush always has some dimension. The blush never looks um, patchy or chalky or heavy or um, too stark. They're very easy to apply and they give a very, very smooth finish to the skin. Um, so again, depending on the kind of color you want, the kind of finish you want will depend on the color that you pick. Um, but they're very, very beautiful blushes and they're really nice to work with. They just glide over the skin and again, they're talc free. So they're $35. Last but not least, this one is for sure being either repackaged or discontinued, but they do still have it on Hourglass's website. It's the Illum um, Cream to Powder Duo. So this one is called Sunset. They also have Bronze Light, which is um, a bronzer and a highlighter. These are creamy products that turn to powder. They're very, very nice. Um, they go kind of a little peachy, so keep that in mind. Um, pretty good um, pigmentation, and they do blend nicely. So um, if you're a fan of cream to powder, they're definitely worth checking out. I believe these guys are $45. So in fact, everything that I'm wearing today on my face is Hourglass, and I will just take you over really quickly what I'm wearing, just in case you were wondering. I'm wearing a little bit of veil, just kind of in the center of my face to smooth it out. I'm wearing the Veil Fluid Foundation in 1.5 Nude. I am wearing the Hidden Concealer as my under eye concealer today. I am wearing multiple different ambient powders. I'm actually wearing all of them except Mood. So I set my entire face with the Diffuse Light, which is really great for giving clarity, concealing a bit of redness that's gone down the center of my face. I used a bit of Radiant on my neck, on my eyelids, and just very, very gently around here. I set the sides of my face with the dim light, which looks like that. It's a nice beige. That one kind of went just on the outer quadrants of my face. I used uh, Luminous to highlight and a little bit down the center of the face as well. And then I used a touch of Ethereal just to set my under eye area and a little bit over my eyelids. So. I used all of them except Mood, but I would use Mood. Um, Mood is really great for knocking back um, if you have really, really gold skin and you don't want your foundation to turn orange. You can use a little bit of this to slightly neutralize it, or if you have some darkness underneath your eyes, this will just knock that back as well because it is slightly pink. In my brows, I have the Arch Brow Pencil in Dark Brunette. My lips are lined with Eden, and I am wearing the Ignite gloss, which is Kathy Lee Gifford's favorite, apparently, which is kind of cool. That was a lot of stuff. Um, lots to talk about. I know it's going to be kind of a long video. Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. Um, I will try to do my best to answer them. Um, go play around with the products at this at the uh, your local store that carries Hourglass, you know. Hopefully you'll be there a day where a market trainer's there and you can ask them any questions you want, but the Sephora cast should be able to help and um, staff it. Space and K and, and Bergdorf's and um, those places will be glad to help. So an incredible line, very innovative. Um, everything looks nice, you know, it just works beautifully with the skin and it still looks like skin. I have primer, foundation, concealer. Could you imagine that I'm wearing five powders, a primer, foundation, and concealer all over my face and you it doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. I didn't mention brushes in this video, I can do a separate video on brushes or I can do a separate video on any specific product that you want to see, just let me know. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, 
again, ask any questions you have and I would be glad to answer them. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.